separates a beginner, intermediate, and advanced lifter? There are many incorrect answers. The first response many people give is based on strength. A beginner is weaker, an intermediate is moderately strong, and an advanced lifter is in the top 10% of the gym. This is illogical because there are plenty of novice lifters who have relatively elite baselines of strength, yet they are still just that, novices. Genetic differences matter far more than most people are willing to admit. It also makes no sense in terms of practical application. Your maxes won't impact if you should run a beginner program or not. That brings us to the second definition, rate of progress. This is how the infamous Mark Ripito views it. If you progress weekly, you're a beginner. If you progress monthly, you're an intermediate. If you progress multi-monthly, then you're advanced. That's totally rational. However, there's a third definition, which is the best in my opinion. All you need to do is count the amount of conditions you add to each PR. Did you hit a 500 pound squat, which is the most you've ever done in weightlifting shoes because you switch between heels and flats every two weeks? Early intermediate. Did you deadlift 600 pounds, which is the heaviest pull on week one of a new program with your third coach in the last three months with a kabuki deadlift bar with straps? Late stage intermediate. I am in this similar situation because I hit 11 reps here, specifically with the high bar position, while 10 pounds lighter than the last time I hit 15 reps, but 10 pounds heavier. But I also could have done three reps more, so I could have done 14 reps while 10 pounds lighter, which is technically slightly more impressive possibly than 15 reps while 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> Ha ha ha.